Ladies and gentlemen, I am Jung Lo, the owner of a Dragon House. Today is February 7th, and right next to me uh, is Dominic Summer, who will be officially fighting on our upcoming event, Dragon House 28, at the heart of San Francisco, Keys Are Pavilion. Now, Dominic, let's introduce you to all the MMA fight fans out there in the Bay, who you are and uh, where you born and raised, and what got you into martial arts. Okay. Uh, first off, thanks for... Uh taking me on to uh, fight, fight the promotion. Uh, first off, my name is Dominic Sumner. Um, I was born and raised in Thailand. I moved here in uh, 2006. And, uh, in Thailand? Yeah, yeah, I was. And then I moved to Sacramento, and uh, I grew up there and went to school. And then uh, I, I started training uh, when I was 18. Um, and uh, I, I, got, I, I, I wasn't very athletic growing up, uh, but uh, so, so, so other sports weren't, I wasn't very good in other sports, but I, I shined a little bit more in, in the fighting sports, so I, I guess that's what drew me to it. So, wow, born and raised in, uh, in Thailand too, huh? So what, what nationality are you? Uh, I'm half Thai, just to go half, yeah. <laughs> really? Wow, <laughs> yeah, I can't really tell. Yeah, yeah. So I don't I see like. too many Thai, Thai guys with as tall as you are. Yeah. I bet the Thailand there are a lot of them. They're like this tall. You know? <laughs> I, I, I eat a lot of vegetables. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, um, what gym do you train under right now? Uh, right now, I train under David Velasquez. Uh, That's at Dark Horse Gym in downtown San Jose. Um, I, have, I have a lot of different partners there. Uh, I train there and also train with uh, Chris Murphy. Uh, so I get most of my jiu-jitsu done there. Um, so he's, he's helped me uh, out quite a bit. But uh, yeah, Dave, Dave Lask is my primary trainer. And, and uh, yeah. That's awesome. Now, this upcoming fight, um, you're definitely a stud. Um, I was watching you fight before. Um, awesome, phenomenal striker. This will be a perfect matchup for both you guys. Uh, you're fighting a guy from North Cal Fighting Alliance, Joaquin Lopez. That's a you know, boxing background and then transition to MMA. Now, what's your thought on coming into this fight against a very game opponent on stand-up? Uh, I, th I think that uh, it's going to be an extremely exciting fight. Um, uh, I've, I, I've, I've seen Joaquin a little bit, uh, and I looked at his record. He's, he's obviously a, a, a titan and very dangerous. He has a lot of knockouts, wins. He's 3-0, he's and, um, and he has a strong boxing pedigree. Uh, I've, I've never faced a boxing guy in the ring, but I've, I've trained with a lot of different boxing guys. So uh, it, I, I don't think it would be too much of a problem for me. And I'm sure he'll try to implement his uh, game plan and his will. But uh, I'm, 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 I'm going to look to make him adjust to me. Uh, and. And, 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 and walk right through him and, and, and be the bully in this fight. That's awesome. Well, myself as a matchmaker, I can't wait to watch in this fight. This will be the opening on the main card. The last six fights will be the first fight of the, of the night on the main card. Uh, now, on your training camp, prepare for Waki. Um, what's your special training? Um, what do you go through daily basis on your training to prepare for this fight? Um, I, I, I've sort of switched my uh, training up a little bit o over the years. This year, uh, I've sort of, uh, I've had to listen to my body a little bit more, and I won't, I, I won't go and say that training camp's been uh, great, or I've, you know, I'm performing great every day, but you know, some days I'm more tired and I have to listen to my body, and, and other days I feel great and I, I can put in a hard session, and uh, you know, I, I've just been balancing my nutrition and my, and my, uh, uh, my, my technique work and my anaerobic work and strength conditioning, which is, which is one, one of the, the main things I really enjoy doing. Absolutely. So, I know you guys fighting in a while to weigh 170 pounds. What do you walk around weighing? Uh -huh. I'm about uh, 187 right now, I believe. Uh -huh. Wow. So, you and Waki are very, very pretty identical physical-wise. You've got a similar height, uh, similar weight, you know, so... Um, what do you what do your diet look like uh, before you do your weight cut? You know, uh, so I, I'm I'm on the seafood diet normally, where I just seafood and I just eat it. So yeah, if I'm done training and I see someone eating, I just take their food and eat it. <laughs> 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 no, I, 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 I usually eat uh, real real food only. So like um, meat, uh, plants, uh, uh, potatoes, you know, uh, stuff stuff that's from the from the earth and stuff. I, I try to stay away from. Uh, from grains as much as possible, but I also go through different diet, uh, different diet changes. You know, that's awesome. Well, to some of these fight fans out there, don't know much about diet on the MMA fighter. Here we go. Let's do some of these tips and um, all my interviews up on YouTube. And every fighter have a different way to get on their diet. You know, but one thing they have to be is very disciplined. 
of a few hours of putting a meal in the good quality food, you know, no, no junk food, you know. So um, let's feed a little bit of five fans, you know. I know they all want me curious, like what do you train, prepare for your cardio conditioning for the upcoming fight? Uh, so no, normally I, I really like to do trail runs, uh, like really hard runs in, 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 in the, like mountainous terrain. But uh, I've, I've been having to slow down a little more and, and, and do more biking and, and swimming, which is okay, but um, I, I, I really enjoy running. Um, but those three is usually what I, what I cycle through. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Well, you have a perfect fighter for Z, also for basketball as well, you know. Got the long avatar for Z <laughs> in the human body. I'm extremely putting, clumsy, yeah. <laughs> putting on a fight now, this is awesome. Now, if people want to get a hold of you, to watching you fight, how can people contact you for tickets? Okay, uh, my Instagram is Dominic Space Versus, so it's just V S in caps, and you'll find me there on Instagram. Do you have Facebook as well? I do. It's mostly personal, but uh, if you really want to add me, you can add me. I guess it's mostly memes and uh, me trolling, but uh, um, it's Dominic Sumner. So yeah, you can check it out. That's awesome. <laughs> now, any sponsor you want to shout out to? Uh, a big shout out uh, to IB Strong Gym downtown uh, San Jose. Uh, Ivan always helped me out with my strength conditioning. Uh, it's uh, Iron Paradise over there. So yeah, come check it out. Um, uh, Cali Muscle always helped me out with supplements and uh, uh, excuse me, uh, Lawrence Egg Whites, which are really great also. That's awesome. And also if you want to get uh, any of the sponsor out there, fruit juice, supplement, clothing line, you want to sponsor upcoming athletes, here we go, Dominic Summer, um, the Welterweights making a, a Dragon House debut. This is a Dragon House promotion 10 years anniversary. So we put up a very, very extremely stacked fight card for this upcoming fight, March 24. For more information about fight cards layout, check out dragonhousemma.com. And this event will be nationwide broadcast. So anybody can watch pay-per-view live stream, get on dragonhousemma.com, order your pay-per-view uh, vouchers. And uh, please subscribe our YouTube channel. Give us a little bit of love and support and give us a thumbs up on the Dragon House MMA fan page on Facebook as well. Now, if your opponent, Joaquin Lopez, watching this video, what do you have to say to him? Um, I respect, thank you very much for taking the fight. Uh, uh, I, 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 know, I know you're tight and uh, for, for, for the fans, this is a, a, a perfect fight. Um, it's gonna be really exciting and, and I, I know you come hard and you're prepared and, and, and you, you have that 3-0 knockouts in the first round and, 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 I, and I'm gonna look to come and take that uh, momentum for myself, honestly, yeah. That's awesome. Well, look forward to another firework, March 24th at the heart of San Francisco, Keys Arbor Pavilion, Dragon House 28. It's going down, it's a huge stack card, epic event. Don't miss it. Uh, we'll see, hopefully all the five fans out there support our local fighters. Uh, Hall of Dominant Summer, get him a, get a ticket from him so they can get a credit for it. A lot of MMA fighters, they don't make a whole lot um, in the beginning of the fight career. Selling a little bit of ticket, get some credit, that's important for them. So uh, let's come out, support local fighters. Uh, I'm John Lowe, the owner of Dragon House. Right next to me is Dominic Summer. Good to have you on board, brother. Thank you. All right.